morning, Monday, May 4th, how are you? It's May the 4th be with you, and it, it's also my birthday. And it's our wedding anniversary. I got married on my birthday. Isn't that fun? All right, so today we're going to have a fun Star Wars day. So Dylan, if you could kind of start over here and chat about what we have here. So we have Darth Vader. It looks like in a Shakespeare version and an old cover version. You have your oatmeal scotchy Wookiee cookies. That's good fun. And your graham cracker marshmallow TIE fighters. Mm -hmm. We have our table runner from our cruise a couple years back that was Star Wars themed. Mm -hmm. And then this fun little snow globe. So fun. And then a poster from The Empire Strikes Back. All right, Dylan, how about I'll do my joke and then you do your joke. Okay. All right. What do you call Chewbacca when he gets chocolate in his fur? What do you call him? A chocolate chip Wookiee. Uh, uh, all right, Dylan, what's your joke? Okay. Mine is, why was the droid angry? Why was the droid angry? Because people kept pushing his buttons. Uh, uh, all right. So... We're going to have Mr. Zigre making another special appearance and Jackson, not yet dead. Oh, he's so excited to come, but not yet dead, to come on camera here in a minute. But first I'm going to kind of talk about the activity. So who at home knows what an anagram is? Who in this nope. room, who in this room knows what an anagram is? Nobody. Okay. So many of you were reading before we started this distance learning. So this will be kind of a fun activity. Try it at home and then see how you do. So if I start with Star Wars, you want to now rearrange the letters and maybe come up with new words. Dylan, do you see anything? Rat. Rat, thank you, Jackson. Don't we have all them. Rat, well you two have a different word that you have to do. Straw. Straw, straw. Very good, Mr. Ziggray from the balcony over there. Okay, so try that at home, rearrange the letters, and see how you do. Okay, Jackson and Mr. Zigre, come on down. Hello. Hello. Congra congratulations on living another year. Oh, thank you. You're thank welcome. you. All right, I'm going to have you two stand here. Okay, so you each are going to have your own board. You pick a marker. Yep. Now, your challenge is Darth Vader. So please write that at the top of your board. That's gonna cheat off me. Oh, well you might wanna turn your board then. Okay, and then you're gonna have one minute. Is it ER or AR? It's ER. ER. You're gonna have one minute to come up with words in an anagram, okay? Let me grab my... We gotta read our jokes, don't forget. Oh, thanks, Dan. All right, ready, set, Go. We should play this in the meantime. <laughs> oh, boy. Jackson has a lot. Jackson has nine words already. I got five. Mr. Ziggler has five. He's doing pretty good though. I did have Chewbacca as the word. That's... That was harder to come up with words than you might think. Oh. Okay. A minute yet? Yeah, a little bit longer. This is exciting. Markers down, please. Okay, I have some that I actually did yesterday also to see if this was possible. So, Jackson, why don't you start? Dad, if you have it, mark it off. Okay. Dad. Nice. Oh, nice. Death. Oh, death. Nice wow, okay. Red. Red, I have red. Mm -hmm. Rad. 
They have red head. Uh -huh. Rev. They don't have a rev. Head. Nope. Had. They have head. Thread. Nope. Wow. The. Nope. I'm at five. <laughs> dart. They have dart. Tar. No, that's a good one. Dread. No. Nope. So that's seven. Hat. Uh, no. Have. No. Okay, Dad, what did you have that Jackson did not have? I have Earth. Uh-huh. Wow. Dave. Can't do Dave, that's a proper noun. Is that a word? No, can't do Dave, that's a proper noun. Okay, I don't have Dave anymore. <laughs> Heart. Heart, nice. Rave. Uh-huh. Tad. T Tad. Yep. T-A-D. Okay. Oh, wow, he's going to lose anyways. Art. Uh-huh. R. Uh-huh. And Ad. Wow. I mean, I have. Not as many as me. Have nice seven. job. All right. You Nine. Do you two um, want to do your jokes? Sure. All right. Only lost by a little. That's pretty That's right. good. Why shouldn't you ask Kyoto for money? Why? Because he's always a little short. Ha. Ha. All right, Mr. Zigre. Who serves food at the Death Star restaurant? Who? Darth. Waiter. Ha. <laughs> All right, friends. Stay tuned for a special Star Wars book. Hi, friends. All right. So I was on that Sora reading app that we all have access to. All the staff at St. Jude and all you parents at home have access to it. It has tons of books on it. So I found this Star Wars book on there. If you haven't checked it out, check out the Sora app. It really has a lot on there. All right. Everything I need to know I learned from a Star Wars Does it feel like the weight of the galaxy is on your shoulders? Are you being pulled in a direction that you don't want to go? Does it seem as if the walls are closing in and nobody understands you, even though you speak more than six million different languages? Maybe you're not feeling your best, like you're staring down the throat of the Sarlacc. And the odds of survival are 3,720 to 1. Because no matter where you are, on a desert planet or a frosty world of ice, there will always be dark times. Foes may appear when you least expect them, and trusted confidence may turn against you. Dangers might block your way, and there will be monstrous challenges. Escapes may be rocky, and safety can be fleeting. You might find yourself thinking, I've got a bad feeling about this. Or, it's a trap. When life seems cold and lonely, hang in there, don't back down, and never give up your dreams. If you believe that anything is possible, there are distant worlds and amazing adventures awaiting you. You may encounter noble knights or swashbuckling scoundrels, and you can be a hero. You might stand alone or with allies at your side. You might be rescued by someone special or rescue yourself. But no matter how huge and overwhelming the galaxy may seem, always remember size matters not. Little droids can do big things. A small child can save the day. Little friends can help you with great victories. Even tiny babies can hold a galaxy of hope. Always believe in yourself and look inward. Stay on target because no matter how impossible a problem seems, it will have a solution if you look closely. In fact, the biggest obstacles often have the simplest answers. Success will eventually be yours. You will get your just rewards. But don't get cocky, kid. 
because one moment you're riding high on a tauntaun and the next moment you could be wampa food. And on those days when nothing is going right, don't get frustrated, stay balanced and let the force flow through you because fear and anger can lead to the dark side. The dark side may seem impressive, but what you will gain will not compare to what will be taken from you. Once you kneel before the dark side, it only leads to destruction and hopelessness. But even in the midst of darkness, goodness can be found and no one is beyond saving. Friends are never far away. There'll always be someone to offer you wisdom, inspire you with a good story, or show you the way. Because every trip is better with a good co-pilot and every challenge easier with a buddy on your side. Create an alliance with someone special and make the jump to light speed. Friends and family will stand by you and the force will be with you always. All right, friends. See you tomorrow.